Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. We will continue from the last uh, lecture, uh, the study of the degrees and leading coefficients of the Hilbert Samuel polynomial. So, let me recall few. So, we have a local ring, Noetherian local ring M. And using and Q is a M primary ideal. So, this implies that A by Q is Artinian. And then we consider the graded ring, associated graded ring. Uh, which is denoted by G R Q A, which is A by Q, Q by Q square and so on. And this is uh, standard graded A by Q algebra. So, this is generated as A by Q algebra by the residue classes of the generators of x r where r is where these bars where x 1 x 2 x r are elements in q and bar denotes image in sin q by q square. So, it is Noetherian, the finite type algebra over an Artinian ring and then we consider the uh, map, the numerical function uh, from z to z or n z plus 2 n n to n. This was any m going to length over a by q, q power m by q power m plus 1 and for we have proved it for a large m for large m this is a polynomial function this is a polynomial function with rational coefficients. In Q. And that polynomial function I am denoting by H Q. This the, so, because um, the coefficients are in Q and Q is infinite, this polynomial is uniquely determined and that polynomial I am denoting by H Q H Q. And not only for the ring A, we have done this for the module. So, we have done, uh, so we have for module M H H Q M, the notation is at any M, this is length of A by Q as A by Q module Q power M M by Q power M plus 1 M. And for large n, it is a polynomial of degree 
less equal to um, number of generators of q minimum number of generators of q minus 1. So, I will denote h q without loss I will generate this as a polynomial only h q m this is a polynomial with rational coefficients inside. Okay, and then um, we have also noted that uh, if you I take uh, this function uh, for this uh, for this m we might have to do with the integers because um, no no not for this m but in general if you have a finite module or a graded ring and if you allow oh, some negative grading also the negative grading it does not go all the way to oh, all the side to negative side. So, only finitely many negative components can occur. Okay. So, what is p q? p q m is m at m is defined by length of length over a of the module m by q power m plus 1 m. This is this module is annihilated by uh, power of a primary ideal therefore, the length is finite it is a finite length module and this is uh, for large m polynomial function of degree now uh, uh, degree will increase by 1 because this definition clearly it says that if I take the d of p q m this is h q m where d is a derivative that means uh, the difference of successive uh, terms. So, what we proved is p q is a polynomial function of degree less equal to minimal number of generators for q and we what I was proving I wanted to prove this lemma and then we re I realized that we need um, uh, Artinry's lemma. So, the lemma I was proving was so this lemma we were proving if you have exact sequence of 0 m prime to m to m double prime this is exact sequence of a modules then and m is the middle one is non zero then if i take the alternating sum of the functions so that is if i take p q m prime plus p q m double prime minus p q m these are the polynomials and if you take the alternating sum of the corresponding polynomials then the degree of this is strictly less than the degree of p q m. So, that means that the leading term of the sum of these two will be equal to the leading term of this. So, they get cancelled and the degree drops that is what we wanted to prove and for this I wanted to use so called Artin-Ries lemma. So, let me recall that Artin-Ries lemma. So, that for that I will little bit more general I will recall. So, I am recalling now. So, we will complete the proof after Artin-Ries lemma. Artin Ries lemma. So, um, this is can be stated more generally. So, I will state more generally. So, when I say filtered ring, so 
So, you like a graded ring has a gradation. So, filtered ring also has a uh, ring with a filtration. So, it is a ring, it is a ring A with a filtration. One A. Now, what is the filtration? Filtration is simply a descending chain of ideals. So, that is a descending chain. So, it starts with A, whole ring unit ideal A0 contained in A1, contained in, contained in, contained in AN, and so on. Chain of ideals is called a filtration on A. Uh, the typical example of a filtration is you just take any A, any ideal and take the powers of that ideal. So, A power 0 is A, A 1 is A power 1 is A and so on. So, this is a filtration, this filtration is called aortic filtration. or filtration given by the ideal and usually filtration. So, it is a either it, you denote it like this or you denote it simply by F. But this is usual uh, notation for a filtration and uh, uh, for a filtration uh, you can consider uh, uh, the uh, out of filtration you can get a graded ring. So, graded, graded ring associated to a filtration F is you just take the direct sum. See these are ideals. So, there are abelian subgroups. So, you take the direct sum. So, that is denoted by A prime. This is A naught direct sum A 1 and so on. So, you get a graded ring out of that filtration. So, that is called a graded ring associated to that filtration F. So, there is another graded ring associated to that that is called that is usually denoted by G R F. A that is the successive quotients. So, that is A0 by A1 direct sum A2 by A1 by A2 and so on direct sum An by An plus 1. This is also uh, this is actually this is called associated graded ring of the filtration F. So, in particular for this aortic filtration you get really the associated graded ring with respect to the ideal A. So, G R A this is A power n by A power n plus 1 and this is a standard graded algebra over the A by ideal A generated by the homogeneous elements of degree 1. Okay. Similarly, we, are, we can do it for the module. So, if you have a module over A, so if M is an A module, filtration on M is a descending filtration on M. This is a descending chain of uh, sub modules. So, that is M equal to M 0 contained in, contained in, contained in M n, contained in so on. So, A sub modules. Oh, in general, I forgot to mention here when you say filtration, here filtration should also mean that um, when I take um, A n, 
a n times a m that should be containing a suffix n plus n. So, that the multiplication makes sense. So, you see if uh, sorry I forgot to mention this a filtration means a descending chain of ideals with this property a n times a m is containing a n plus n. This is this is this will make this ring a prime as a graded ring because when you want to multiply the elements you get in the next component. So, such a filtration uh, so the, uh, the filtration on m is a descending chain of sub modules and you call it and given an ideal a we say that this filtration is a compatible or a stable or a compatible if a times m n is contained in m suffix n plus 1 for all n in n. Then you call it a stable. A filtration on the module is a descending chain of sub modules. For a given ideal a, you call it a stable or a compatible if a times m n is contained in the next one and you call it a adic. If this, this becomes equality for large n for large n. That means this becomes equality for all n bigger equal to after some stage n naught. So, there exists n naught such that for all n bigger equal to n naught this equality happens for all. This is called a aadic filtration and of course, compatible. So, aadic means this condition and a, a stable. So, that is aadic. So, the typical example is if you take the ideal A and the powers of that ideal. So, typical example is if you have an ideal A, ideal in this and M is a module then A times an M this is A adic filtration on M. Okay, now the first uh, let me write it as a lemma. So, lemma this is about when the module is finitely generated the filtered uh, the graded module. So, we have remember we have a prime as so uh, uh, let me write state clearly. So, a is an ideal in a m is an a module and m n is a compatible filtration or a stable filtration and let us assume all these of finite uh, sub modules m n all m n are finitely finite modules and then we form this graded ring a prime which is direct sum a power n and we form the module m prime which is direct sum of m n s. So, this is a graded ring and this is a graded module over a prime. So, m prime is a graded 
इब्राहिम मॉड्यूल दैट इज बिकॉज द फिल्ट्रेशन इज कंपेटिबल ओके देन द फॉलोइंग आर इक्विवेलेंट देन द फॉलोइंग आर इक्विवेलेंट नंबर वन द फिल्ट्रेशन इज एडिक एंड टू एम प्राइम इज अ फाइनाइट ए प्राइम मॉडल so it it gives you a criterion to check uh, when the this uh, m prime is a finite module over a prime okay so proof proof is very simple so uh, you have already noted that m prime is a graded a prime module so let us uh, indicate the proof of one implies two so we have given that the filtration is aadic and we want to check that it is a finite module so filtration is aadic so for large n n plus 1 equal to a times mn for all n bigger equal to some stage n not that's given that is the meaning of we say aadic filtration so obviously if i look at m0 direct sum m1 up to direct sum mn this this m i are finitely mo finite modules over a so these are this is finite so this set the generators here generators here, etc this is finitely finite or so this set will generate m prime over a prime because the later later homogeneous elements are will come from here and the coefficients are in ideal a so therefore later part will be generated by this part so in particular it is finite a prime module what i am saying is you take the homogeneous components of degree 0 degree 1 degree n all together put it all together they generating sets and uh, it's obvious that all later components will be generated by the earlier one so 2 implies 1 um suppose it is finite module then uh, it's finitely generated over a prime because it is a graded module i can assume the generating set is uh, homogeneous element so suppose that x1 to xr are homogeneous elements elements of degrees n1 to nr and gen we generate m prime as a prime module and let us take n not to be the maximum of all these guys maximum of all all the degrees n1 to nr then we claim we should check that uh, that stage onwards this equality the equality so we should check now mn plus 1 equal to a n a times m that is the meaning of that it is aadic for all 
and bigger equal to n naught. So, let us check this. So, uh, note that if I take n bigger equal to n naught, look at this set, uh, look at this m prime n plus 1. This one is precisely all because this x1 to xr generate, therefore, this is precisely the finite sums from i equal to 1 to r combination of a linear combination of this x1 to xr. There. So, a i x i where a i is actually I can assume by comparing the homogeneous components of degree n plus 1, I will assume that these a i's are actually in a prime n plus 1 minus n i which is uh, uh, which is a power n plus 1 minus n i. This is obviously equal to a times m prime n since uh, a this a prime n plus 1 minus n i which is equal to a n plus 1 minus n i which is a times a power n minus n i that proves that the filtration is aadic. So, now let us come to the, so when you want to check some filtration is aadic, you have to check that uh, the graded module is finitely generated. 